Hello and welcome to another daily dose of insights powered by Container Exchange. My name is Christian and every other day we bring to you the key news, stories and data points that move container markets. It's Wednesday, uh, so we usually take a quick look at the trading market, um, current price developments, price trends, and uh, wager an outlook on uh, where we believe the market is uh, gone ahead. Um, today, on top of that, um, very interesting, tonight is CET or around uh, noon um, Eastern Standard Time, the Fed is uh, going to announce their latest uh, rate decision. Um, it is expected to hold rates steady, as we've also uh, covered in our Monday edition, um, but still, uh, nevertheless, an event uh, that is worth watching. This kicks off then a whole range of interest rates decisions uh, across uh, the world um, today, today, tomorrow, and on Friday. Um, so this week, again, uh, very important on the interest rate. Um, Start. Perfect. Let's quickly share my screen to give you a little bit of a, um, a guidance here. We first look at our container exchange um, sentiment index, where we regularly poll industry participants about what they expect container prices to do in the near future. Do they expect them to increase, decrease, or stay stable? Um, and we build an index out of that. And as long as that index is above the zero line, uh, this means that the market on average expects container prices to increase, to improve over the coming uh, weeks. As you can see here, um, since uh, round about April or a late March, beginning of April, the uh, sentiment index has been in positive territory um, quite heavily, quite significantly at first, um, and now only barely um, hovering above um, the zero line. Um, this is interesting because it's in line with what we see um, on our um, price indices. So here we have uh, a snapshot of our insights uh, database, 44 high cube cargo with the containers in Shanghai, starting uh, from the uh, beginning of 2022. Um, and as you can see here, um, the container prices really have bottomed out. Um, the increase in prices hasn't really materialized yet, but at least prices have been stable and that's sort of in line with market sentiment. Um, the stable situation on the sentiment side is also being mirrored on the volatility side. So this is, for example, the bottom right-hand graph here, where you see that volatility, price volatility, that is spiked in February, March, so around Chinese New Year, and has um, seen a very, very low level of around about 2%. So that's a standard deviation of a week-on-week -week price changes here um, uh, in, in these bottom and um, uh, bottom right hand uh, graph. So markets uh, continue to be relatively stable, muted, and not a lot of price changes, not a lot of volatility. Shanghai is still trading at a discount versus uh, both the, the regional as well as the global market, uh, which you can see here in the top right hand graph. Um, so that's also um, very interesting because usually um, Shanghai is quite a, an expensive uh, location to buy uh, containers. For us, this means that there's still a significant supply overhang on the box market. Um, that's very interesting. Also, um, I just uh, if you compare that with the uh, with the presentation that uh, that was just held at the TOC in Rotterdam by Mr. Jensen, um, who essentially um, notes that the container shipping market has now returned to normal, normal and that the demand or so price fluctuations that we see follow the normal uh, seasonal pattern. It remains to be seen uh, whether that holds true or whether we still have a significant supply overhang that is not being managed properly by the carriers. And we still we sort of are at the early, early onsets of a price war, which we hold uh, uh, to be expected. Well, that's it from us for today. Um, very interesting uh, trading patterns right now. Um, for more information, check out our Insights product um, where you can see uh, price trends, uh, price movements, and uh, comparisons across 120 locations uh, worldwide. That's it for me for today. Um, thanks all for tuning in and see you all on Friday. Take care.